right, we are back to the Snod Pod here. I'm John Snodgrass, your mortgage resource where we're talking real estate, mortgages, and beyond. Uh, today's one of those beyond episodes with Derek Collins, owner of the Pedal Tavern. Pedal Tavern, Duffy Boats, the Cooperage kayak business, bike business, lots of stuff. Check out things to do at mke.com for all uh, things fun to do in Milwaukee. Um, Derek, I'm sorry I cut you off last time when you <laughs> were about good. to jump into your other businesses. <laughs> off camera, I was sad I did that. Sorry. Hey, all good. <laughs> um, so let's jump into your second business was... So the, the second business Paddle we Tavern, did... Right? Yeah, it was Paddle Tavern, which... So at this point, we changed the state law in Wisconsin so you could drink on the Paddle Tavern. And then we're like, all right, what else should we do? And we were approached by a company that makes these these uh, boats. They're out of Bend, Oregon. And we're like, all right, I bet everyone's going to love this. People love going on the water. And I've been on the Milwaukee River a few times before. But if you have never been on the Milwaukee River, it's such a cool way to see the city from a different perspective. So we launched the Pedal Tavern with two boats. And we uh, work out of the harp. And we were still at the harp. It's actually it's a great relationship that we have over there. And now we're up to four different boats, but the boats themselves is, is, it's so cool because you can paddle and it moves a paddle wheel, but there's no hills <laughs> <laughs> and there's also a motor. So, oh, there is a yeah, motor. Okay. Yeah. So there, there's a motor on board. The boats are all Coast Guard certified. And what we found is that some people hop on the boat and they just don't pedal at all. And they just kind of soak in the views of the city and just have have a few beverages and, and really have have a great time how late are you running paddle tavern i also forgot to ask pa- pedal tavern too how late can you guys go so the paddle taverns were off the streets by 10 30 okay. and then we go until about halloween and okay. then the paddle taverns our last one departs at 10 p.m and we're back before midnight okay and then we operate it like the first weekend of october okay about. okay um but yeah but the, the the boats were a big success and then we had the opportunity right after that to purchase w- what is now the cooperage building with um with the part uh, a partnership with john reward over at boone and crockett and then mitch or over, over with uh, the taco trucks with a uh, taco moto and then also my partners on the on the bikes and boats and then from there we're like all right what else can we do and because <laughs> like we, we we have this amazing property and it has about 200 feet of shoreline and it looks at the home bridge yeah it's a great view great spot you guys yeah got. it's a great view great spot and we knew that kayaking was big in the city and people love to do it so we reached our out to um a, a big kayak guy his name is michael fisher sure oh yeah yeah and uh he has some other businesses and uh throughout the country and and he he helped us out and then we actually started a kayak business with him called Bruce city kayak okay and uh that was that's turned out to be also just a great relationship that i've had with him and then we also uh separately started a duffy boat rental company and what's a duffy boat so a duffy boat is a 22 foot electric boat and there's a canopy over two thirds of it. And then the back third, like the stern deck is open. So if you want to get your son, you can do that. Otherwise you can stay inside the boat the whole time, which is what I prefer to do. Cause I'm always in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, but what, what we found is that with each venture that we've done is that, you know, people just want to go out and have a good time and they want it to be taken care of. So we always try to provide like the best products possible. So the kayaks that we bought, they're all prospective or uh, prospective tribe kayaks, which is like top of the line kayaks. They're all set on top kayaks. And then the Duffy boats that we bought, they're really nice boats. You know, they're where did they? Where'd you guys get the idea for the Duffy boats? So the Duffy boats, we actually saw this uh, in Chicago. Okay. And they're running them down in Chicago, and we're like, oh, this would be ideal for yeah. for Milwaukee. And and then also Ryan, my, my partner, was also out in Newport Beach, and he saw them there. And in, in Newport Beach, they have about 2,000 of them. Oh, wow. So we're like, all right, let's just do this in Milwaukee. So in Milwaukee, we have nine boats, and it's you know it's a lot of fun. I, I've been on them with my family a few times, my kids, super fun. And we I just drive it myself. Um, and, yeah, we've gone out 
for like two, two and a half hours, I think. Or maybe we, we, yeah. we've usually made like one stop, just had like a beer and then we hop back on. Yeah, that's um, that's what they're they're designed for. They're about two and two and a half hours. And, and the Duffy boats, they're all self captain So you drive it yeah. yourself. And then our paddle taverns, it, it includes a captain and a first mate. Yeah. So a first mate. Yeah. <laughs> also a first mate to help with what? docking. <laughs> What's a first mate? Just just an extra person to help out? Or? Yeah, just an extra guy. You, usually the first mate, they, they help with docking, but they, they're a professional photographer. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see your social media page. Seems like a lot of people are having well, a lot that, of fun. Well, that, yeah. and then everyone wants to document their, their trips too, because yeah. it's, you know, it's big things. It's, you know, it's company parties, it's bachelorette parties and, yeah. and having the first mate, it's really nice because they can take photos yeah, of everyone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I didn't think about, yeah, because you gotta, somebody's gotta be driving the boat or steering the boat. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. The captain can't um, leave. So I know we kind of went over this in the last one. We kind of got your, your origin story, but I, I just want to kind of dig back in because you, you like, I feel like we need to like, you know, give credit where credit is due to, to you and, 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 and your partners. Um, like you built these awesome build businesses. You started out with just the two of you, like, you know, what, what are the keys to your success? Like, yeah, if you can opine on, on, on that yeah, a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think it's two things. One is we have really good staff. And we have really good managers who manage our staff. And at first I was doing all the hiring and bringing people on and I was managing everything. And then I was able to step away. And, and what I found was I, was, I was super nervous to do that. And so I was yeah, super nervous sure. to kind of like to hand, hand over the keys to someone yeah, and have them just kind of like run the show a little bit. And yeah. then and I'm still overseeing everything. Yeah. And I try not to step on anyone's shoes, but but every, every once in a while, I'll have to do that. But yeah. but we trained them enough, and they're smart enough that they can do things on their own, and they're able to train the the CSO employees that we have. Sure. So in the summertime, I mean, between all of our businesses, we probably have about 150 seasonal employees. Wow. So it's a lot of people, and we try to treat people the best that we can. And the thing about our managers is that. Uh, you know, it's, it's a seasonal job. So we like to, we, we try to keep them like compensated for the whole year. Yeah. Um, it's hard to do, but yeah. we're, we're able to do it. That's awesome. And, and that's what people tell you. Yeah. Keep good people and they're, they're doing a good job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, go ahead. but then the, the second thing, um, as far as like, you know, being an, an entre entrepreneur is just, just keep reinvesting back into the businesses. Okay. And, we do that every year. So every season or every off season for me in the winter time, I'm thinking about something else that I can do. And whether it be a new venture, like, a, like the kayaks or the Duffy boats, um, this year, what we did is we launched, we built a new dock from the Aloft hotel. And now we have three spots on the Milwaukee river where you can rent boats from. Yeah. So we're just keep growing that way. Okay. And then I think I mentioned this off camera, but something that is really important is also building bridges. Yeah. So if anyone wants to be an entrepreneur, you never know who you're going to meet at these like networking events and just, you know, keep a positive attitude with whoever you meet. Cause you never know if they will be an asset for you, like down the road. Sure. And I found that, you know, a lot of these different events I've been to, you know, also I have a very unique business yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with, with the pedal tavern, but, uh, I, I found that a lot of the people that I've met have been basically a champion or have been on my side uh, for various other things uh, that I've done. Got it, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, just be, being, you know, kind. Yeah, just be nice <laughs> just to people. be nice to people. <laughs> yeah. And be a good listener, I imagine, is, is, is good, too, at these events. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and, you know, just joking around, having fun with people. And, yeah. Um, and I mean, also part of the pedal tavern, you know, we, we'd stop at a lot of bars, so it's meeting the bar owners and the bar managers and building that relationship with them as well. Yeah. And just, you know, having building, good partners. So, yeah. Yeah. And having good partners and, and, you know, it's not always about winning and being first. It's mm -hmm. about making sure that everything goes smoothly. Yeah. Cause I mean, I've, I've taken losses before. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just like, all right, is it worth fighting for? Yeah. Or, or is it better off just taking the loss and moving on and doing something better? Yeah. Which, which I've done. Yeah. I mean, going back, we talked about it briefly, but like the, you know, our pedal tavern in uh, LA didn't work out for various reasons. Traffic being one, <laughs> yeah. the 405, people showing up late. But like what yeah. I learned from that was just like, you, you got to be all in. Yeah. And I, I know you're all in 
and like so that's where I, you know i've just gone all in on the mortgage business and just and but that's the biggest thing i learned in that you know year and a half two year venture yeah, yeah it was I fun. Mean, we had some fun times but i mean it was a great time i had a great yeah. time in los angeles um we've been traveling to san diego to hang on so yeah too, <laughs> going but, up to monterey yeah and big going, sur. yeah um I, I, lo- I love being out in california and i i mean i i don't think i would not do it again yeah like if i, had I learned chance. so much i mean we lost you know we, a chunk of money but we, we lost I, I learned a lot and um, i think can you tell me about other chances maybe you've taken and that didn't work obviously that was one but yeah that was one um i mean uh, actually a chance that we did most recently uh, with, was with our we, we rented these polaris slingshots out to customers yeah i remember seeing those yeah and the the challenge we have with that is that with our other products we can rent two three four of them in one day mm-hmm. with this one it's basically you rent it for one day okay and what i found is that you know that's not a good business model for for renting stuff yeah. like you 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 want to be able to turn the product and get more rentals out of it day, yeah. especially in milwaukee being so seasonal yeah that you know you, you only have a short window yeah yeah <laughs> especially if you have a, a spring like we've had in march and april where it rained like every saturday um so i yeah. i pay attention to the weather a lot yeah <laughs> nice nice what about technology um what, what, you had mentioned like you guys were you yeah. know, writing everything down like for each business like how, like yeah how it, has that helped and like when did you guys like adapt because i'm sure it's like hard a change is hard yeah so in 2010 when we first started pedal tavern the online booking technology they wanted like 20 percent of every booking and just it wasn't good technology but then in 2014 we actually linked up with a company called zola and we've been with them ever since and they've made improvements to their software but what we found now is that every time there's a, the ability to use technology to create a better experience for both um on our end like the back end but also for the customer we jump on it immediately so some of the things that we do now is that i mean obviously we have online booking but we also have uh, we use chat bots so that people can just type on the side when people are making their reservations if they call they can click one to start a text conversation and then our reservation is she can actually handle four messages at once and just chat between them on her computer versus taking phone calls and people leaving voicemails and trying to call them back. And so, so that the text message technology has been tremendous. And then also what we do is automatic emails, automatic text messages. So when people book, you know, like they know what's going on. And then if there's some event like a weather delay, mm-hmm. Uh, we can send out a text message to all 30 groups that day yeah. versus having to call everyone. Yeah. So, you know, jumping on technology is a huge yeah. thing. And so, so just kind of recapping again, because this has kind of become like a entrepreneur 101 class <laughs> here. This is, but it's awesome. I, I didn't see it going this way, but I love it. Um, so like uh, just to recap for everybody, it sounds like to be successful, you got to take that when you when you're starting to become successful, you know, trust in your employees, your managers. Yeah, that's huge. Obviously you gotta hire good people, but you know, hey, you gotta show amount of trust, uh, invest in the business, reinvest in the business, you wanted to keep it to grow. And then the you know, last part of efficiency, it sounds like, mm-hmm. which is the technology component. Um, I don't know, I just thought I'd recap it. Any, yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> any, that's it. Any, anything I missed? And then, or, and then the last thing, you yeah. know, I always tell people just building bridges because you never know yeah. who you're gonna meet. Yeah. And what's going to happen with it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming on, Derek. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Derek Collins, um, Pedal Tavern, Paddle Tavern, um, Duffy Boats. I've, I've used all your your businesses. All of them are so much fun. And uh, in Milwaukee, where we only got so much time to be outside. Um, and you've really created a cool niche for yourself. So uh, proud of you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, work, my friend. Yeah, and uh, and again, it's an honor to be on the Snob Pod. So. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Um, so that's about it, I guess. Last thing, give Derek a pitch because he's got so many businesses. Go to this website. You can go to any of the individual businesses' websites, but also check out things to do in MKE dot com. That's things to do in MKE dot com. Derek, thank you. Congrats on all your success, and uh, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll do a live one next time with you in one of your businesses. Yeah. That'd be fun. This has been the Snod Pod with John Snodgrass, your mortgage resource, where we're talking pedal taverns, pedal taverns. 
many other things, stuffy boats, real estate, mortgages, and beyond. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.